Now, there are many flowers that are seasonal. In that, there are specific months of the year in which they will bloom. Turns out that this kind of seasonal or changes is true for the rest of the parts of the plant as well. They will vary from plant to plant based on various external factors like where the plant is, whether the climate around it is hot or cold, dry or wet, the amount of moisture content in the air, the amount of water that it gets from the surrounding, all that stuff. Now, it sounds pretty crazy, but it's commonplace. Now, these are called adaptations. In fact, I'm sure you've seen some of these adaptations in plants. In cactus, for example. In a cactus plant, the fleshy part that we see, that's actually the stem. The stem is made thick like that because the plant wants to conserve water, hold the water. All the water that's stored in this thick, fleshy stem makes it easy for the plant to store water for future use, even if it does not have a direct source of water where the roots can just suck it in. Or the onion, for example. Did you know that the part of the onion plant that we eat is actually the leaves? Did you know that the stem of the onion is actually inside the leaves? That is actually speaking to kinds of leaves in the onion plant itself. The normal green ones that come above the soil and the other fleshy kind that we eat. Now if you've noticed, these are always in layers, layer upon layer upon layer going inward. They are actually protecting the stem that's on the inside. Um, roots. Carrots! Roots come in different kinds too. Carrots, the orange, chewy vegetables that we eat. Oh, by the way, did you know? Carrots are orange because we humans like it that way. Wild carrots have not always looked this nice or haven't always been this nice to eat also. What we eat is the root of the carrot plant. That's why if you see the skin of a carrot properly, you'll find hair-like things growing out of it. Of course, when we take the plant to market, we cut off the extra roots and the extra root hair and things so that it can make a very good cell. If you like this video and if you want to watch more videos like these, hit like and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy learning this way, download Byju's, the all new and personalized learning app.